Boobies. Hi. Hello and welcome to Boobies. Boobies. That's right. We're your host. I'm Caitlin. And I'm Joshua. And we're here to talk to you about a listener request. One listener request. That's right. That from. is from Sunny. Sunny yeah. Brooke Pay. Yes. Sunny. Sunny. Thank you. I used the whole name there. I know. Me and Sunny go way back. We used to go to high school together. Fun. So that's why I was just kind of like, whoa, whole name there. But um, <laughs> <laughs> blowing your whole cover. So sorry, Sunny. <laughs> hope no. you didn't want to be anonymous. <laughs> <laughs> but we are covering, if you you know checked out the title, What Keeps You Alive. What Keeps You Alive. 2018. Mm-hmm. Directed and by Colin Minihan. Yeah, I was about to say, right? Minihan? Minihan. Minihan? Minihan. 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 Tiny hands. But without the DS. Yes. Um, and stars Hannah Emily Anderson and Brittany Allen. And is basically... Um, a lover's, not, well, it is a lover's quarrel, I guess. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell. Um, but follows these uh, two human beings going into a cabin remote area, lakeside setting. setting. Um, and Classic. And a lot of stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's so really kind of right off the bat, too. Yes. There's a, a good twist, a, a twist in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It didn't take long. Um, Brittany Allen, so she plays mm-hmm. Jules. Yes. And she did all of the music for this movie. Oh, did she? Yeah. That's awesome. So, like, the whole soundtrack is her. And it's, like, even, like, not only is it just, you know, the singing and stuff, but, like, when you look on Spotify, the whole, it's just Brittany Brittany Allen, Brittany Allen. And it's, like, even the, like, orchestral stuff. Damn. But then, obviously, there's, there's, like, actual sonatas and stuff in there, too, that are, you know, well-known ones. There was a few like notable piano pieces during like the luminol mm-hmm. scene and stuff that were very clearly like composers and not hers. Yeah. But all the other music and just the soundtrack in general, which I thought was really good throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. It was I was her. Mm-hmm. And so that was really, that was awesome. Like, yeah. For her to be able to act in it and do that. Like, what else did she do? I don't know. Yeah. That's I'm enough. Like, did she, yeah. <laughs> did That's she awesome. like write any of it? I don't know. But yeah, she did. I feel a, like she's capable. Yeah, she did a really good job with the music. I thought it was great. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, that's the first time I've ever seen her in anything. I think same. Um, to be honest, but Hannah, Hannah looks familiar. So who the girl plays who played Jackie? Jackie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she definitely. I feel like I've seen her in something before. Um, she just has really. Oh, she was in Jigsaw. Hmm. Hmm. And oh, The Purge. I'm not seen. I've actually not seen a lot of the Purge, you movies. Seen the Purge movies. I've seen the original Purge. Yeah, you know, I've seen one, two, and then, and then the last one that came out. The uh, I don't even remember the name of it, but I've seen it. There were so the latest many. One. Um, yeah, oh, that's you awesome. know what I've probably seen her in was this Lizzie Borden thing that she was in. Did you watch Lizzie Borden? Yes. I don't even. Is she's is she British? Uh, or American? She's American, isn't she? Uh, yeah. You know what? I don't. Own, oh, she was also in Dark Phoenix. Which is, I think, one of the mutant. Not so great X Men movies. Yes. Yeah. I almost said Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, silly. Yes. Um. But yeah. So we basically start out with this nice, like, kind of serene forest view, mm-hmm. uh, like an aerial shot from yes. the ground from, looking yeah. up. So it is a ground shot ground shot of the air. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like imagine when you are taking a picture of the sky and you look up, there's a bunch of trees. So you're just seeing like that sun coming through yeah. kind of the situation. Canopy. Yeah, exactly. Those some really tall trees yeah. as well. They were. Yeah. Um, I, and this so, is a beautiful area. Yeah. She whenever. So for alert, she calls some cops later. She says something bear view. Bear view road or something like that but we never get like where they're at right no Mm -mm. i don't Mm -hmm. think there's any sort of we have no clue which Uh maybe was intentional because maybe jules doesn't also know yeah so we're also left in the dark yeah and so we're all there together um then we get uh, just a very quick title card flash in the silence which i liked Mm -hmm. because there was you know this kind of 
music playing that was like very yes. it was filling up the air but it wasn't intense it was like you know almost like background noise mm-hmm. and it was cool i like kind of like spatial audio yeah yeah and then it flashed because the you were still really kept in the element of like that shot especially in the opening made you feel like you were there mm-hmm. you know yeah it was good and i'm sure everybody has a memory or a, a picture of what that looks like and you can feel that feeling of when you're like fresh Just air sitting there, sitting yeah. there gazing at the sky Beautiful. laying back you know not mm-hmm. doing anything yeah it's the best um as they were driving up it was giving mm-hmm. very much friday the 13th i thought that too yeah, and the, road, and the, ca- the camp setting and all yeah. of that. Yeah, I was like, oh, and then even Jules short hair kind of reminds me of. Oh, yeah, of uh, Mrs. Voorhees. No, oh. <laughs> the, 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 uh, the whoever the main girl is. I don't remember her I name. I don't either. So I, I, I main girl. I feel like I said that the other day. Whenever too. we were doing the live show, right? Yeah. yeah. And then I was like, what is her name? Now I need to look it up. I need to know. And they were Alice. singing. It is Alice. Alice. Oh, okay. right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Alice. And uh, it does look like that. Um, they're singing that little song or, well, not singing her um, Miss Jackie. Because at first I got their names flipped for like the first kind of oh, 10 minutes bit. of the movie yeah. until I heard him call a name and I was like, oh, wait, my bad. So, like so then the next 30 minutes, it was hard to rewire my brain to be like, oh, yeah, that's Jules and that's Jackie. My mm-hmm. bad. Um, but Jackie is like, this is our song. and um, It was a weird song. Yeah. Um, was it the one that Jules ends up playing is, over the loudspeaker? Actually, good callback. I'm not sure. It might be, but I don't know. That was a really like hard rock song yeah. later on. I and don't this, think it's the same song. The first, the Mm-mm. intro, it was it could very have been an intro. like a um, kind of also like that. But yeah, I wasn't quite sure if it was the same. Nothing so- felt like super memorable from the song. I don't also, know. But that would have been a good thing. That would have been, I mean, if you're going to do that, yeah, at least do it with that song. And so they're pulling up to um, the cabin. Beautiful. It's a beautiful cabin. I want to yeah. live there. I wouldn't even call it a cabin. It was like a house. Mansion. Mansion. Cabin. <laughs> cabin mansion. Cabin mansion. Cabin mansion. That's a, that's a, should be a trend. Um, yeah. um, and this cabin mansion. Should be. <laughs> just for some reason, it makes me think of Cabbage Patch. And so we have um, Jules like looking all over the place um, as she was going and thinking, what'd she say? She was like, I think I might love this place more than you or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I was like, you should. <laughs> you really should. Um, the moment she was going through, um, like at one point i think jackie like barely steps into the kitchen mm-hmm. and you see that stove and i was like, oh my fucking god this stove the stove was so beautiful you loved the stove that was all i loved i'm just I kidding honest, i loved everything about it but well, that the, stove, the house is really i nice. lost my mind I, didn't, I honestly i'm not a stove person so i didn't really <laughs> think of the stove oh, oh my bad it i might have, really, i might have been writing a note as yeah, well yeah true and not looking right D- at that it moment. was a brief like flash that mm-hmm. doesn't it shows twice and gotcha. it's like Right there, and oh, then man. later she oh, oh almost knocked over my juice. <laughs> <You scared me. laughs> Not the juice. <laughs> okay, I'll move it that way. <laughs> um, good thing these have a wide base. <laughs> my hot beat. I know my it stomach dropped. I was rate. like, oh. <laughs> um. Okay. Because it would have so, got right on you. Yeah. Well. No. And all the equipment. All over the table. Yeah. And sticky. And it's sticky. That's juice. That's juice. sugar water for you. I brought Cran Mango Ocean Spray for us to drink today. Sponsor us, Ocean Spray. Yeah. I yes. love cranberry anything. Mango. I'm allergic to mango, but love it. And just a little bit. It's really good. They have so many flavors, though, to be honest. That cranberry is getting around town. Mm-hmm. It is because there's mango, and I've had some like with peach and with we the apple, peach. peach, strawberry. Then there's like three sums going yeah, on. Yeah, like white cran peach. Menage a trois. Ooh. Wait, that would just be a white, white peach and cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> I it's don't giving know. <laughs> privilege of the cran juices, the privileged white one. White cranberry. <laughs> <laughs> um, with white grapes. <laughs> yep. Um, oh, and no. so where were we? Oh, my gosh. Uh, um, the stove they start, is cute. Oh, and they start kissing and yeah. being all lovey-dovey, right? Um, yeah, as they're walking through, it's first off, Jules gets a continuous shot. As she's exploring the house, which I thought was really good. The continuous shot was nice as it's like going up. They did a good job of like kind of setting the scene of the Mm -hmm. house. Mm -hmm. Um, We do get to be in a lot of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she's Jackie is explaining how basically after Canada confederated or something. 
oh, okay, so we are somewhere up there. That makes sense. Yep. Yeah. And they were basically giving out land for there free. There are a lot of places like that up there. Yeah. The to, landscape. To, like, come farm there. As long as you, mm, like, promise mm-hmm. to farm there, you could get this land. And so then her grandpa built the house on it. Yeah. And um, that's why maybe the land family. wasn't like. But who knows? That could all be a lie, too. Maybe the land wasn't doing so well and it was like. Uh, needed to be tilled. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like, uh, well, my gosh, why can't I think of the word? But for them to like actually make the ground like better and for future, you know, use. Because yeah. they're not going to be there forever. True. Um, so that's awesome. But um, yeah. So Canada. Anyways, and then yeah. at this point. Jackie also says, hey, have you seen my insulin? And I was like, this insulin's going to come into play mm-hmm. for sure. Um, Foreshadowing. And then oh, in the window at the top of the stairs, that like arched went beautiful. Just I wanted just... to live there. <laughs> it's had a coffee um, bathtub. We'll, we'll, we'll have to look up the location. Maybe and it's I'll a place go. you can go to. The whole house, like the outside color was Maybe fun. Maybe you can rent it. And I don't know. Airbnb style. To. I'm a little scared. Mm. What if I get killed? It's just in the movies. It's just in the movies. That's true. Always got to remind um, yourself. But Jackie disappears while yes. she's searching. Mm-hmm. And then she, basically. Which Jules is really is like, weird. Yeah. Because she just like, was like I'm going to make some food or something is what she was mm-hmm. going to do. And then all of a sudden she was just gone. And I was like, OK, maybe she just went out to the Sayonara. car. She left. I would have been like, oh, my God, they just left me here. Yeah. Yeah. I would have been like. Ah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then she but she finds her. And out by the lake, out by the lake, and just staring at the boat house. Dark lake. I said, "What in the Amityville is this?" It did very Amityville. I was yes. like, "Get, get away from that boathouse. It felt very much like that. I didn't trust Jackie from the beginning. This moment on, I was like, "Nah, it's this bitch." Yeah, I thought something was up already. Well, yeah. especially I mean, you read it in the synopsis, but or like a uh, little info for the movie, but yeah, I didn't read that. I didn't read yeah. it. <laughs> it could just basically says like you know. um, uh, couple goes to place and uh, oh she's not who she said she was oh yeah okay and so um i also though she gives the vibes it's yeah very, she's a good actress because especially once they started singing the that little the there's a demon inside bloodlet out <laughs> yeah that song's stuck in my head right now oh uh, um i mean yeah so but good i was like that's really fucking but creepy. i was literally thinking the same thing the like, way she was Ooh. just staring like that I thought. See, I, like, I was Ew. about to say, is this girl <laughs> demon possessed? Like, I know. what is going on? But I honestly think because she's we get got to a know, demon of killing. She might. Yeah, she does because the song is like that's you know, her demon. It's in the, and I was literally my note was very much like, oh, she's explaining what she's going to do to her mm-hmm. in the song. But it was also giving like possession or something, especially with her fun. being saying that. Like maybe going there, it was like. A family thing that only happens now that she was like on her family like mm. land kind of situation. I don't know. That would have been cool. Yeah, I like that because um, it also just kind of gave like now that we know she's just kind of a complete deranged psychopath. Yeah, or is it a sociopath? Which uh, one's the one that has no emotion her, or feeling? I get it confused. They I kept referring to too. her as a psychopath though. Right. So let's go with what the movie called her. Even though then- I don't know if that's necessarily. But that's on them then. She crazy. <laughs> she is. She is a not, little little not there. Yes. All there at all. And um, it's causing her to kill. Also, side so note. So she just yeah. Do you think that Brittany Allen at some point looked like so Jules? Do you think that she looked like eyebrows from Midsummer? And also, oh we are the, yeah, I yeah, could see that. There were a few angles where I was like, damn, they could be siblings. They could have been siblings or cousins, very close related cousins. Yeah. Yeah. It was only, it wasn't like the front angles, but there was a few angles, especially as she was going to search for mm-hmm. Jackie there. She looked very much very like her. To that. And, or him. And I was like, oh. I was like, oh, are they? No, they're not siblings. <laughs> they're not related at all. They just kind of look similar. <laughs> um, and so at this point, um, the lake. She and her are basically then they're back inside and they're deciding on what to eat, right? Yeah, I think so. They're and yeah, they're basically they're sitting there with and she's that singing the song. demon song, yeah. yeah. And so she's um about to get some smooches. They yeah. start to get a little frisky and hot. She pulls the guitar away and she was like, You're so hot. And I was like, No, that was just well, fucking creepy. Yeah, yeah. It, and she, I think she also I think she picked up those vibes. Yeah. I think she did it because she was just like, No, let me let me stop this. This is getting kind of weird. A little dark. <laughs> yeah. Um, and so then all of a sudden, as they're getting like really um 
uh, hot and heavy. Yeah, with each other. These lights come and pull up. Mm-hmm. So someone's in the driveway and they're like, what the fuck? Who's here? And Miss Jackie is throwing her clothes on because she's going to go take a look. Yeah. And Jules is even saying, like, don't, don't do it. But she's yeah, like, this is a creepy house. Yeah. And she's <laughs> just like, I'm going to go look. And so she goes out there and it's her across the lake neighbor, <laughs> which is a very her far labor. distance. But I guess nope. they, if at nighttime you, you can see lights. So. That makes sense. But I was like, that's far Yeah, for them to be like, oh, someone, the neighbor's there. But um, she's they did like, a good job of when she stepped out of the car, making her look very oh, yeah, like, yeah. A little, A little ominous. Yeah, yeah. Because you only see her silhouette. Yeah. Yes. And, and so she's got like a black, you know, puffer jacket mm-hmm. on and stuff. And I think and she, she had her says, hood up. And she says, Megan? Megan? And I was like, who the fuck is Megan? Me too. <laughs> I was like, what in the actual fuck? So plot twist number one. Miss Jackie is not actually Jackie. She Megan. She's Megan. What the fuck? Miss Megan. She's like, it's me, Sarah. And I was like, okay, what, Sarah? And, and then I'm like, and then I'm Megan. like, who the fuck is Sarah? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, damn, is this like one of her exes? That's that, what like, I started to think as well at mm-hmm. first. Or like a stalker. Yeah. I was like, oh, is a stalker coming into play? And then or at one not. point, like I definitely, I pretty much from the beginning was like, mm, it's Jackie. She's creepy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I didn't even read the synopsis at all. I just said, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like clicked on it. Um, but then at one point I was like, oh, is Sarah killing people who get close to Jackie? Oh, okay. I would have liked that. That would have been, there's so many spins on where this could have gone. Yeah. It could because have gone a million different demon possession, crazy ex. Yeah. When I think about blood it and all of ex. it at each point, there's a few points in the movie like it almost feels like that um final destination three like you pick and you like you pick where the movie oh, goes yeah oh that would have been fun mm-hmm. pick your indian magic tree house literally let's see how it goes that'd be cool <laughs> um and so of course we're all the audience like what the fuck okay so Ooh, she's actually fuck. megan um and then we have which is so awkward jules walking up and being like hi hello as someone would and then she has to be like this is my wife julia mm-hmm. which we find out her name is actually julia but we're gonna call her jules yeah um and and she's like, oh, hi, I'm Sarah. And they start talking a little bit. And that's whenever it gets mentioned again. Oh, I used to live down here when, when I was a kid with um, Megan. Megan. And yeah. then she's like, oh, did you now with Megan? Megan, Megan huh? <laughs> she yeah. played it remarkably cool. I would have yeah. been like, I would have been like, who the fuck is Megan? <laughs> yeah, I would have been like, oh, yeah, sure. I'd, I don't know. I would have looked at her and been like, who's who's Megan? Yeah. You're you're Jackie. Why why do you keep calling her Megan? Confused. I would have You would have I'm not as calm, cool and collected. I would have been like, why the fuck you call my wife a different name? But I yeah, that's more confrontational, the confrontational yeah. route. She definitely was just like, okay, we'll talk about this yeah. in 5 seconds. Um Maybe and so get inside. They do in which she is trying to explain to her um or no it's already the next morning my bad it It is the next morning switches to the next morning and jules is now by the lake jules has a sweatshirt on that says r.i.p too and i was Mm. like "Mm, not a good not a good good omen Mm -mm. um and then also she's doing some like real intense trail running she really is for not knowing that area and Uh, it wasn't a very clear path i thought she was honestly at one point maybe gonna like twist her ankle break a leg like do something as as well or like fall and like bang her head Mm -hmm. yeah because she was just running and i was like girl you don't you really She's don't look like you running run physically often. and figuratively from everything. Yes. Yes. Um, um, she not, had a lot of thinking to do. I feel like that she doesn't have a physique for running. It just the way she was running looked very awkward. Oh. It didn't look like she was a seasoned runner. No. Yeah. <laughs> and so That's as exactly she was like a baby deer, too. like kind of running <laughs> through. And I was like, girl, you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. Like I. I, Paul, I, I run on trails a lot and I still fall. You know what it gave? It gave very method and it gave that they told her, you know what? Tomorrow we're doing the running scene. So what we want and what or not they didn't tell her. She said, I did this and they didn't even ask me to do this. And I did this. I, just I did not sleep the night before and I did not drink any water and just dehydrated, dehydrated and tired and film that scene of me running as fast as I could. Mm. So that's why like she was just like look so like that. <laughs> yeah. But um she does get uh, to like the 
like what she sees the bottom of the lake and she comes to that boat yeah yeah mm-hmm. she comes up to the shore finds a little boat on the water and all of a sudden megan slash jackie is behind her and i was like yeah. what the fuck mm-hmm. i was like how the hell did you get here that was creepy didn't like that no and then she was like do you want to go out on the lake and i was like <gasps> red flag yes mm-hmm. and they go out there and then at one <laughs> at one point she was like whoever you are <laughs> and I was yeah like, oh my god but mood <laughs> yeah because same because at that point it's like what too. i feel like that's something to disclose yeah definitely because I like mean, her story like I, I whenever they got out onto the lake she just dis- she explains her side of the story mm-hmm. and it makes sense i feel like it is a it kind does. of common thing to do if you have empathy you're compassionate it makes sense but also she but didn't like, tell her that yeah i would have i mean because at that point kind of important yeah because yeah. if it were to come up now would, she looks now like she, a dumbass yeah. in front of this like, other person oh, but who i'm your didn't. wife and i don't even know this there you yeah. go i, I would mean feel like, very betrayed even too. if you don't even want to talk about it like at least she knows like she, oh yeah you know what my name used to be megan and it's just not a big deal let's just not talk about it but in case that ever someone ever asks like that is me if you ever get a yeah. phone call and someone's like where's megan you know hello it's that's me. me but yeah i jack you now yeah. yeah exactly exactly um because she she explains that you know whenever she realized she was gay that she changed her her name because it Megan never really felt like her and she became Jackie. Yeah. Um if I was gonna change my name, I'd probably choose something more exciting than Jackie. But not well, disclaimer, no shade to all Jackies. Yes, it wasn't your fault. No. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um but that also reminded me just Caitlin, what I was y'all. <laughs> with a C. With a C and a I. And a I T L I N. Yes. Wait, well, Kitlin. <laughs> Kitlin. <laughs> well, there is, there's Caitlin. an A in there. There's an A. Um, and so, okay, back to the TV. They're talking about it. And at this point, Jules is being like, you know, okay, you know, okay, cool. I, I get it. All yeah, right. But well, still, I guess a little, that's not so bad. Like, still obviously a little upset yeah. because then she's like, okay, well, close your eyes and puts this locket around her neck. Mm-hmm. And it's got a little picture inside of it. Yeah. And I was like, hmm. That's sweet, sweet, but also but conniving and also weird. feels a little manipulative. Feels yeah. like, mm, let me just brush this over with a present. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, very much so. And then we get this really good wide shot, an actual aerial wide shot, shot, wide shot of the water from yes. above. And uh, uh, it was, it was really very good. dark. So it gave me that that lake was very deep, especially when we do later. It's like, what, 305, 50, 350, deep. Yeah. 50 deep. Yeah. So it looked like it. Yeah. And it was, it was pretty. They pretty. it was pretty. I yeah. want to be out in the middle of it. I maybe in a boat more stable than the one they were in. Mm, yeah, yeah, it's true. Bigger it boat. Looked, yes. No life jacket. Just kidding. You should always wear a life jacket. <laughs> um, and so we're. I'm not a great swimmer. <laughs> I would have been um, Jenny. <laughs> okay. I love a good swim. Um, I told you I swam in the Brazos River, right? Yes, and I said. You know they put poo poo in there, right? Sunny was actually watching. Shout oh, out, Sunny. Whenever she was, whenever you did that. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Because we used to go to Cameron Park and hike. Uh, and so back in the days when I was crazy enough to jump into the, the river. water, always does look really nice. Oh no, mm, kind of. But like now that I, <laughs> you know, now I'm like as an adult, I'm like ah, maybe not that lake, never river. I'm sorry. Yeah. Another one. It just I know it's not clean. And then actually yeah. there's like alligator gar and all these things in there. And I'm just like, now I think about alligator gar. So there's like, um, basically like a fish, but it has a snout that's nope. kind of like an alligator ish type this of snout. Right now. And, and it's got a lot of teeth. I hate this. And they can get pretty big actually. Alligator gar. And if not that, there are snapping turtles. Ah. So ah. I wouldn't want to get snapped by a snapping turtle at any part of my body. <gasps> so. Oh my God. God, these things get. They this can get pretty big. Human. Yeah, yeah. Oh no. So just like imagine that, like <laughs> mistakenly, like little a nibble. Nah, that's not a nibble. That's gonna take your leg off. Yeah. That'll take a limb. I don't know. I doubt that. I don't even know if there's. I'm sure there are some reported attacks from alligator guards. I'm sure it's very small. But I could have been. I could have been the one from Waco. Largest eight feet, local team, five inches, dumb enough to swim in the river. One hundred twenty-seven pounds. That's Her diet like a is lot. Buffalo. What? Like the cow? No. Or hot wings, carp, and shad. 
We, did you say it's hot? <laughs> Wait, what? I'm so confused. <laughs> I said like hot wings. <laughs> but I'm assuming ah! it means <laughs> an actual buffalo. I don't no, know. No, how does the buffalo... Well, like Do when we they go to buffalo? drink water? We don't have buffalo, so they've got to be oh, eating something else. This is texas.gov. They're eating the little Texas black bears we used to have. That's why we don't have anymore. Uh-huh. We used to have little bears, but and they got they um, eradicated. Well, they got eradicated by humans a long time ago. <laughs> The alligator gar is a ray finned something fish related to the ground fish in the infralasa blah blah blah. Largest species in the gar family and among the largest freshwater fish in North America. Mm. Terrifying. The fossil record traces its group's existence back to the early crustaceous over 100 million years ago. Shout out to the alligator gars. I That's hate crazy. It. I love learning about stuff like that though. So the more you know, they're important apparently. They are. It's important says, to the ecosystem. We are a part of a big structure. I'm scared. And here. From the host of the popular podcast, The Only One in the Room... Stash by Laura Cathcart Robbins is a propulsive and vivid memoir about the journey to sobriety and self-love amidst addiction, privilege, racism, and self-sabotage. Best-selling author Holly Whitaker calls it an irresistibly delicious story. And MacArthur Foundation fellow and best-selling author Kiese Lehman says Stash is emotionally riveting. Buy Stash by Laura Cathcart Robbins now wherever books are sold. Hey there, homeowners. Is it time to give your yard a complete makeover this summer? Villani Landshapers, a local family-owned business, has been transforming landscapes for more than 20 years. Villani Landshapers specializes in landscape design build, retaining walls, outdoor living spaces, and so much more. Request your free consultation today and check out their gallery of residential work at villani-landshapers.com. I hope there's no alligator gars in this lake. I really don't. That'd be scary. But we're transitioning now to mm-hmm. a shooting practice yep. situation. Um, we have uh, Jackie shooting, um, and she's kind of she's. I I feel like she's making it look like she sucks. Maybe Jules shoots at first. Oh, is it Jules? And she, yeah. Well, I think maybe she's just actually not that. Oh, you think to make Jackie feel better is why she did it? Like that's why she wasn't hitting anything. Yeah. And then you're Jackie right. comes bad. in and you're then right. she's like, doop, doop, doop. And I, I don't like, know why ah. I just got them switched up again, but you're right. Yes. Well, yeah. Because you explained earlier the whole beginning. You had them switch, which is fine. No, 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 you're fine. But my brain literally just melted there for a whole second and I had to catch up. It was like, I was like, wait, what? Malfunction. <laughs> Malfunction. Okay. Yes. No. Yeah. And so the way that she was like, and she was also saying, like, you, you might hurt yourself or something like that. Or I yeah. don't know. She's kind of taunting, but not taunting. And then, yes, Jackie because is just like, pew, pew, she was pew, like, pew. Your form's all wrong. Yeah. That's what she she's told trying her. to correct her. She's like, straighten your shoulders, babe. Your form's all wrong. And then she was like, boom, boom, boom. Takes out three cans. And already I was just like, oh, she not a good sign. Mm-hmm. Not a good sign. I was like, mm, yeah. When you find out that your significant other is actually like a trained assassin, <laughs> it's not that great. Especially to find out after that I way. already found out she has like another name that yeah. she told these people. There's a lot of stuff that's like now kind of like, oh, no, here's another little twist. Yeah. I didn't know that about you. That huh. seems suspicious. Seems like I would have been nice to know. Yeah. What if I was not pro gun? Yeah. That exactly. might have been on the table. I know. And then because she know. even said like killing for sport isn't exactly my That's thing. That's true. Yeah. And then I was like, ooh. Ooh. And then we're inside. Mm-hmm. Um, and we're getting this story of how when Jackie was a young girl. We do. Her and Jenny were sleeping over and their dad woke him up. Her dad woke him up and was like, it's time y'all learned something about life. <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Made him get out of bed and put the shotgun in their hands. Like and they're what? like, it's time to go. Get at him. Obviously, I'm sure they've seen him do it for a while because they know he hunts. So Yeah, but I also feel like maybe like don't just like let him run loose. You know, but also 
maybe for like how we have a Jackie, the way she is, there's could be like stuff from her childhood that led her to be maybe the way she is. I don't yeah. know if that's a thing, but yeah. So who knows? Dad could have been also off the rails a little that's bit too. That's true. Which I mean, she does kind of say at the end because Jules asks her like, "Why did you never talk about your dad? Why that's did you true. always avoid it?" And she was like, "Did they do something to you?" And she was like, "No, they didn't." <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> literally, because that could have gone a whole different direction. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, had this massive backstory, and then she just basically says it's nature versus like it's not nurture, and like yeah. they raised me fine. I it's just am a killer. Literally instinctual. Yeah. Um, and so spoiler alert, um, she ends up telling that story of how they go outside and there's a bear, a black bear, mm-hmm. and they end up having to, or she ends up shooting it, but she like still doesn't give it like a kill like hit and she's just basically she said i could have done the merciful thing and like kill it put it out of its misery but i just watched it yeah because her her gun did jam that's right the gun jammed. the gun jammed but then yeah she says i just watched the life leave its eyes for like 20 minutes and i was like what the fuck you're eight yeah like i think she was around seven or eight Mm -hmm. or something it's dark but i was just like what the hell? And you can even see on Jules' face, like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is dark as shit. Also, I would, I would why also did you not bring that up earlier? Be a little myth, yeah. Because yeah. that, that's also like, just one more thing, adding to the notches of just like things that I'm finding out about you on this trip. If I came face to face with a black bear, and I'd been, probably oh, bring that story up a few times. They've been married for like a year yeah. at this point, yes. So, so who, knows who knows how, how long, long they, they were dating. Yeah. It seems maybe it could have been like a fast engagement thing. I feel like That's it what it was. feels very much so. Yeah. Jackie probably did manipulate the fuck out of Jules. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because she wanted that. Well, she we'll get to it. <laughs> so the after I this, say is she a gold digger. Oh, we we do get what Jules is sleeping, or it's another day and turning night turning to day, and then Jackie leaves a note and it's like saying like, "Oh, I went into town and I didn't want to wake you up because you look so peaceful." Yeah, which would I I would be like, and no, they said that I would have ate the teddy bear too. Yeah, Aww. yeah, I would have liked to have like been woken up and like. Yeah, I'd be a little bit I'd be a little bit upset if I was just left in the middle of nowhere. Like, pitch maybe, maybe I wanted to go into town. I would like the option. Yes. I might even still decline, but ask. But at me. least tell me. Uh, but you know what? Now I'm just bitching. No. And so um, I'm I full team options. Yes. And so that's whenever um, she ends up leaving Jules herself and getting into the little boat, and she starts rowing across Pops the lake on over to Sarah's. I was yeah. like, what the fuck? As if it was gonna be like an easy thing i've you've you've, you've rode a boat mm-hmm. yeah that's hard yeah and especially i've never kayak, like i've done especially a, when like, you're going against currents i've done like a canoe yeah setting i've never done like a a row boat mm-hmm. well maybe i have i've definitely i've kayaked and i've canoed and those are both like kayak is pretty easy to like i feel like i could clear that lake i'd be tired mm-hmm. when i got over there but it's a little bit slimmer of a boat, not as much that you're having to. I feel like it's a little more aerodynamic through the water. Yeah. And then that one is like. And it's so chunky. It didn't look like she because if you don't use like both arms simultaneously, yeah. like one slips behind, you start turning yourself. You're fucked. And then you're just going in circles. And then your arms are just fucking tired. Yeah. Yeah. It's it, a lot of upper body strength. It's a lot of core upper body. strength actually yeah. as well. Because you have to stabilize. It's your the whole boat. fucking body. It is. Mm. Yeah. After there were there was one day where I went like kayaking two years ago or something Mm -hmm. and I was just having a lot of fun and I was like going so fast yeah I wanted to see how fast I could go and then afterwards I was so so sore (laughs) I was hurting it's always you're always gonna be a little sore the day after kayaking um and so that's whenever she gets to Miss Sarah's and Sarah's like oh is that you and she's like yeah it's me and then she's like hold up I'm coming and so that's whenever she does end up going into Miss Sarah's house mm-hmm. and she's getting a very warm welcome yeah from Sarah which is like because I kudos to Sarah mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't be just like oh come on over yeah. like if someone randomly popped up on my mm-hmm. lake I'd be like what why are you here it's Please a little leave. weird yeah it's a little, especially because they she already had just four, met. and she had an opinion of M- Megan Yes. That was like already her opinion. And so this person's associated with Megan. So maybe but, she was thinking, I want to save her. These could also be very decent people. That's yeah. it, that's what it is. And so that's whenever, you know, she leaves um, 
Jules alone to go get her a drink. And then she is, you know, kind of looking around as one does, looking at the, like, you know, living room. And she has a picture of th- three girls. Mm-hmm. Um, And so she's already assuming, like, okay, that's, you know, uh, Megan. Megan. Should we, should we, Jackie or Megan? We're going to call her Jackie? Yeah. yeah. I feel like I go by Jackie. I only refer to her as <laughs> Megan when like Sarah Sarah's situation around. got yeah. it and so um that's whenever miss uh what's her name Sarah comes back and she's like oh you know that's me Ginny and Megan when we were little and she's like oh who's Ginny yeah and then she's like oh that was our friend and then she's like oh does she still live here and she's like oh sweetie she's fucking dead she passed away R.I.P. yeah so she passed about she was like actually it was about two weeks after that photo was taken yeah and then she was like I'm sorry to Megan never tell you anything about this? And she was like, just, or Jules is just like, uh, no. Yeah. And she's like, that's just really strange because like, it was just such a big like part of our childhood. Like yeah. you think like she, she would say something that about that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause she was like, that's pretty fucking weird. Yeah. That Megan never said anything. And all right. Like yup. another thing. And then they are asking her how long they're going to be up there. And she says, we're basically just up for the weekend. It's for their one year anniversary. Mm-hmm. And so, as we got back, I was like, ooh, how much do you not know about her? Because we flashed that. to a bed of Jackie sleeping and Jules just kind of looking at her. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, there's a lot you don't know. Yeah. And then she's already feeling that gut feeling of yeah, like, like hmm. mm, who am I in bed with? Yeah. Mm-hmm. What have I gotten into? And then did this make you paranoid about anything? Because then for a second, I was like, oh, my God, is Andrew a killer? <laughs> Same. <never>. yeah no <laughs> I, but i was like when she was like you can never truly know what's going on inside their brain i was like it is very like but then i thought i would probably be the killer that's what i was, I was thinking yeah. too i was like oh my god is it me i am i am <laughs> the problem that's exactly what i thought Cute because Taylor you know Swift. it did make me think like about that and i was like in people in like relationship situationships but then i was like i mean and and i yeah, I would definitely be the killer Unvariable. in my relationship. Yeah. The one that is not a, yeah. Yeah. You are the variable. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah. 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 Not a so. constant. There's there's a lot there. Never know what you're going to get. Life's but, like a box of chocolates. <laughs> but I do Could see your murderer. point. <laughs> and if anybody is watching this, this and you are married, even at that, question this is everything. definitely going to make you question like who <laughs> your spouse is. Like yeah. You need to do a test. You need to do a background check. JK, you, you, just make sure you trust the person. But yes. still. Because she thought she trusted Jackie, too. Yeah, she really did. Also. I feel like she started sus- getting suspicious really easily. Yeah. So I was like, Ugh. and Jules actually does seem very smart and capable. So to me, what it gives very much so is Miss, um, I was about to call her Sarah, Jackie um, manipulated one yeah. and has probably really Good done that it. well. Yeah. And at the same time, has really failed in her plan of bringing Jules back here by not vetting and making sure that fucking Sarah wasn't just fucking across the oh, way yeah. that could fuck this whole situation up. Also, because like, she's apparently killed like four other ones before, so it, she got it looks like there was sloppy, like six lockets. lazy. There was a she lot got in lazy. There. Yeah, she did. She and deserved I also, to die. Which also, like, if you're doing all of it for life insurance, like they're gonna put you're killing them all. They're all in the dying. Same spot. Yeah. Like, They're all dying. Mm. All your spouses are dying and you're collecting all this money off of all of them. They're going to They're be all short term like spouse. That's crazy. Yeah. The IRS or whoever they are are a lot like more with the like Yeah, they would they would catch that. Insurance, life insurance companies Flashlight are here. on. <laughs> I said IRS. <laughs> Someone would Someone catch it. Someone is looking. Someone at all times we're always watching. We're always, always watching. watching. And so um, we do have her then at this point, um, she, the next day she's talking to Miss uh, Jackie, right? Yeah. They're walking through the woods Mm -hmm. and Jules clearly is upset Yeah, um, and not really confronting the issue. Mm -hmm. Um, But then finally, whenever Jackie's like, you're a really bad liar, like what's going on, on? what's going on? And she asks her about Jenny and then. She's like, she why did you ever tell me about her? Kind of turns it back around on Jules. I was like, was oh, yeah. She's gaslighting her. Because she's made up a lot of. She, yeah. Because she's like, how could you have met with, you know, Sarah and Daniel? Yeah. Yeah. And then basically Jackie explains that they used to like swim slash mm-hmm. race across the lake, which is like, no, 
I, I'm not a strong swimmer in the slightest. Yeah. Um, so I could never swim across a whole lake like that. But that's pretty far for like eight it's year dangerous olds to swim. And dangerous. Yeah. yeah. I can see like kids who are like really I can see kids doing that though, maybe. Yeah. I could too, which is scary. But yes, yeah. There's a whole lot going on because she is also just very much playing like the victim and like mm-hmm. this very tragic thing happened to my best friend and I was so traumatized by it. I we were swimming and when I looked back, she wasn't there anymore. Yeah, she so. said I was cr- I got a leg cramp mm-hmm. about halfway across. Looked back, Jenny was missing. Two days later, they pulled her body from the lake. She was bloated. Yeah, and yeah. She said I was cleared by the police and she was like she was my best friend. I never would have done anything to hurt her. And then this was when I was like, Wild. maybe Sarah kills the people. Who gets close. Oh, yeah. And I was like, that would have been fun. That would have been a good route to take it on. Yeah. But then uh, this is where Jules says, well, I invited them over for dinner. Yeah. Basically. Uh, They're coming on Sunday. Yep. And then we're at the cliff. We are. So we're at the cliff. So we have sudden. And so, so okay. It's like, what the fuck? Here we are. We're at a beautiful cliff. There's a landscape, like, as far as I can see in front of or behind Jules, you know, she's taking it all in. And out of nowhere, as she turns around to Jackie to just say something to her, we have Jackie running up on her. Oh, no, we have Jack. We have the frame of just Jackie then looking at her and her whole demeanor changing. And then she just runs. Screams and screams and pushes freaking Jules off the cliff. Bye bye. Yeah. And it was like, uh. It At was first so I was abrupt. like, is this a dream? Mm-hmm. I, I thought, I was mm-hmm. like, this is a dream. This right. is fake. This isn't, no. I was like, did that really just happen? Because I, I suspected her, but then it, it just was happened rad. so quickly that I was like, what the fuck? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. I thought it was pretty cool. And then obviously, because it's only, it's time marker, it's only like 26 minutes into the movie. Yeah. It's really crazy. Because then I'm like, oh my God, fucking Jules is dead already. Uh, yeah, I know. I was like, man, there's the no other. had her like bloodied on the. Uh, so then the I started thumbnail. thinking like, oh, this is going to go towards, this is going to go to like Sarah and Daniel now. Like, this is going to be a whole other thing. Like, now she's got to cover up that she killed her. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But I did kind of expect her body to be gone mm, whenever she went back. Yeah. I because was like, she, she looked pretty broken, but I was like, that fall also. Like, I'm sorry, but if you're going to do this, like pick a taller cliff or something. It's true. Because the possibility that they could get Someone up and could walk survive. away. Yeah. I wouldn't want to chance that. Yeah. Yeah. And so she goes back inside of her cabin mansion and she is rehearsing her 911 call in the mirror, trying to act like, you know, the vic- the the person who just had their spouse fall off a cliff. You Which know? is, have you ever listened Fright back shook. to like 911 <gasps> calls oh, yeah, when they were uh-huh. faked? Oh, when they're faked? Mm-hmm. It's so oh yeah 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 i get what you mean yeah, yeah. because like you they, they sound real like people are like have conviction of yeah. like actually but it's interesting mm-hmm. how that sometimes like the police can they and, can like, pick up yeah mm-hmm. and then there's a whole psychologist science behind and it. Yeah. stuff are like no this is where they were lying they pause too long here or mm-hmm. something and it's just they're doing too much it gives very the first 48 yeah yeah it's um, fun to listen to the not fun to listen to those. It's really sad. There's TikTok that I follow <laughs> of where it's like nine one one calls, like crazy nine one one calls. Uh, Sometimes they're a little grim, but it is interesting then to ones hear. That are funny. Um, no, <laughs> this oh, one likes to do like <laughs> no, sad or kind of scary or spooky or like weird, like um, ominous. Can you send me this? Yeah, I'll send I it to you. I need to go down a hole. I don't think I ever. It's never had a funny one though. Oh, no, so mm, but there have been some sad ones. Yeah. I, I still need to know. But anyways, um, we more do, big curiosity. Yeah. She's practicing all of that. So you already from the get, we're like, okay, this girl has got all of her marbles twisted. Mm-hmm. Um, and she's going back to retrieve the body. But and when she gets down there, surprise! there the body's gone. The body's gone. Just the lock. Jules left. somehow managed to fucking survive this fall. I was like, good for you, Jules. Really good. But all of us, we just do see she's fucked up. Yes. She really she is. is just, Oh, the literal life has just been like whoosh, yeah. out of her and she's back. Um, so she's stumbling through the woods really and struggling, really struggling. Forest. She um, it, it's kind of like jarring the way she's like going back and forth. Mm-hmm. And then she um, it's like kind of cutting, cutting in like pieces. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. And then it's also flashing between like this intimate moment between mm-hmm. Jules and Jackie. Yes. And like a black and white kind of 
tone and then it comes back to her and then she's having to like pop her shoulder back in place yeah sets her Mm -hmm. shoulder back in place and she screams and retches yeah which is like yeah i probably would throw up from that too and then oh my god (laughs) miss jackie her hand oh whenever it but i tried to put fuck her hand like oh fuck her hand but it says fuck your hand like oh lord er yeah your hand Fuck your hand. Fuck your hand. Oh, fuck it your was, hand. It was pretty messed up, though. Yeah, it was it, really gross looking. Poor thing. I would. She's in pain. It was like this. This person's so in pain. Yeah, all bloodied up. Um, and she is then having to hide mm-hmm. because freaking Jackie is now out here calling out for jewels, and she is making it sound like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what came over me. Like, uh, let's please come out. Like, yeah. let's talk about this. I am so sorry." And it looked for like one second, Jules was gonna believe her, and I was uh-huh. like, "You get your because ass Because Jules down, is like, they're both in frame. It's so close. It's very Jurassic Park, and she's and about also to walk in out. Lord of the Rings. Mm, very Whenever Lord of the Rings. Under and the, the ring wraith is up above them yeah behind them yes and so that's whenever miss jackie drops the act and she's just like fuck underneath her breath yeah and And uh oh yep I'm I love so how it like her yeah that. because then jewel i love uh joy's jules's facial acting the actresses actors facial mannerisms oh my gosh there we go yeah. are just really good at displaying like you know what's happening all the realizations that she's getting that we got like mm-hmm. a twist oh my god yeah right. and especially after like your significant other your wife just pushed you off a fucking cliff yeah that's a little crazy that's a lot to take in that's it's a little bit of a tough pill to swallow yeah yeah gonna need some therapy and she can't even run no because you know she like she, she likes to run to like think she does. So that's fucked up. Through the woods. She really does. <laughs> but now she's got an actual rolled ankle that she can't. She really do that. can't do and much of anything. I didn't um, think it would happen from falling off a cliff. I thought it would happen from her trail running. Yeah. But. So <laughs> at this point, that's whenever and also too, side note for Miss Jackie, whenever she did drop her character, if she, she why would she drop the character? I don't know. The, Jules could have been there at any moment. Yeah. You got to just stick to it. Yeah. You got, if you're this deep in it. And then like, cause she even like keeps calling her all night too. Yeah, and it was because, like, you're clearly committed. And why like, would you drop it then? At that point. Unless literally. you were in the house or something where you knew like, right. Like facing a wall, but or like right uh, to a tree. <laughs> you know, just, you had your head there and you're like, because it only took that one moment for Jules to realize like, oh, she's quite literally trying to kill me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Which but I'm, I'm so scary. glad she saw that. Mm-hmm. Um, because um, yeah. So like you said, she does search all night for her. And at this point she is still like, you know, walking around calling for her. And Jules then is like almost about to fall asleep. And I was like, for the love just of God, about do to, not pass out. But Miss Jackie comes very close to her and we get, what every horror movie has a villain with the monologue. Yes. And I was like, she like puts that flashlight in her face and she's like basically calling her like self deranged. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. It felt like a, you're telling scary stories around the campfire and yes. you put the flashlight under your face, you know, to make your face look really scary. Mm-hmm. And she's like, maybe she's had a psychotic break after all. We're in love, right? Like this must be what you're thinking. Yeah. Kind of thing. And she's saying, I'll find you. It's only a matter of time. And then it starts raining. Yep. Um, so kind of is a damper in Miss Jackie's search um, plans and trying to find her. Um, and also, this has just got to be probably the worst night of Jules's life, I would oh, have yeah. to imagine. Because like, all of this is happening. <laughs> and now it's like just fucking raining and it's dark. And honestly, the rain's good, though, because then it can hide a lot of does. sound. That's true. I would have been on the move. Use that to the advantage. Yeah, the yeah. whole time. I wouldn't have stopped moving. I think at that point, because when but your adrenaline that, is that high too, yeah, I feel like you gotta, I would have used the rain as cover and like tried to get over to Sarah. I would have like walked around the fucking lake. But we do know that Sarah, which she does mention, has mentioned at this point, she knows these woods like the back of her hand. Yeah, she knows true. these woods. And then also we did get, um, forgot to mention, Jules mentioning earlier whenever she was coming to, okay, got to find the road, got to find the road. But mm-hmm. Miss Jackie was already at the road. Yeah. So oh, I think that actually happens the next morning. I don't oh, is think it we the next forgot morning? to mention. Ah, okay. Yeah. My bad. Um, um, but we do have... Um, Another flashback memory yes. of the two of them, and they're talking, and um, uh, Jules is 
trying to make Jackie guess what kind of bird she is. Yeah. <laughs> and so she can't really guess what it is. And she's then like, oh, it's a crow. You know, it's the smartest bird. And then we do have Jackie calling herself a body eagle. Yeah, because, mm -hmm. yeah, she, Jules says a crow is the smartest bird in the world. And then Jackie says, well, I'm a bald eagle. Are you scared? Mm -hmm. And it was like. Ugh. And Jules wakes up. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, girl, you need to get to Sarah's house. Yep. Because now Jackie is prepped for hunting. She's like in her camo gear. Yeah. She's like loaded up her little shotgun She's thing. She's in the zone. Yeah. Auto zone. I was going to go into another jingle and then my Which mind one was blanked. it uh probably o'reilly's uh, to keep uh, it on oh o'reilly's auto, auto parts, parts. Ow! Oh, i used that to was like bad. have a weird thing when i was a kid where i would just sing jingles like continuously jingles are great i would just collect a bunch of jingles and then like sing them in order <laughs> i wouldn't just make jingles i would have nothing but must jingles. Have been the most annoying kid what can we make jingles for Cran Mango. Cran Mango. Cran, Cran Mango. <laughs> just, just steal the O'Reilly's. <laughs> Ocean Spray. <laughs> Literally. Well, let's put a different thing on it. No, nope, it's not the same. Sorry, you can't sue us. Um, and so we have her trying to fight her fucking sleep. Um, and then that's whenever she does kind of come back up to consciousness a little bit because she's a puddle of water after it rained all night. Mm -hmm. And so she's going to drink the water. And at this point, I thought, because we did see Jackie getting ready, I was like, oh, shit, she's about to get shot down. Yeah. Like, it's happening right now. And those scenes there as, like, we were kind of like, I understand what they were trying to do, like the slipping into the consciousness with yeah. jewels and stuff. Um, but I felt like it was almost a little too much. Mm, mm -hmm. This movie has, there's a, a lot of interesting. Points, yeah. I feel like maybe they try to get too many interesting angles or interesting takes. POV shots. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. we got like first person POV, but like not, sh it's, it's a steady cam. Mm -hmm. But then we've also got, you know, all these long shots and then there's these interesting like artistic shots from like the ore mm -hmm. at one point and then there's this where we're like manipulating the camera and making it look like hazy and jolting mm -hmm. and it was almost it was almost a little too, too much, much a little yeah, heavy that i wish heavy i on just it. picked one handed. yeah and i get what you mean kept it consistent throughout the whole film or just you know it's always nice to have something here and there but yeah it, i get what you mean it was more stylistic over yeah. like the substance of what was happening, yeah. but um, which a for I, effort, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. It it didn't like take away from the movie yeah. to me. It's just if, but I, I totally get what you mean because by the time at the end of the movie <laughs> was happening, I was like, oh okay, here's another one. Like yeah. oh okay, got it. Some other mm -hmm. thing, yeah. Yeah. Um, but basically, she goes to find the road, and then yeah, that's. Ugh. And it was so creepy. Like we hear Jules walking through the forest and her steps are so fucking loud. Yeah. And then we get Jackie's not. a shot of Jackie's and they're just silent. And mm -hmm. I was like, well, that's so scary. Um, and then it sets it up. It really does make you believe that Jules is in Jackie's sight. Yeah. Because really like does. we get this shot of Jackie looking through the scope thing. And then Jules like freezing like a deer like caught in the deer, headlights. Literally. Um, but it was just a deer in Jackie's scope, and Jules made it to the house. She did. Which is why she paused. Mm -hmm. Which I think um, I would have just immediately grabbed the car and left. If she were the keys in the ignition? I don't know. But yeah. I would have done something. Tried to leave. Yes. Immediately. Yeah. Because or gotten the boat faster. Well, that as well. Because she's getting in the house and looking for a phone, but she can't find the phone. Mm -hmm. The internet is down, obviously. Because I'm like, girl, don't you don't think that she thought about got all, rid of that. Of all that? Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Of course. And so she's in that because she's in the house for a while because she has enough time to find the first aid kit and stitch herself up. Yeah. And then this is when we I put on the notes like, OK, maybe she is a nurse or yeah. something because she definitely knew like what her uh, injuries were she was like, and how to mm -hmm. not not ruptured. And then she was like oh, broken ankle. And then she was like, nope, just sprained. Yeah. And she was like going through everything. And yeah, her sewing job looked a little busted on her tummy. Um, but I mean, like when you're in immense pain, pain yeah. and trying to suture yourself while you're trying to be, I'm sure she was trying to be really fucking really fast quiet and, and fast. fast yeah. yeah. Um, but yes. Um, and then she puts her finger back in. This might be why she never became a doctor because she couldn't suture. Why? <laughs> she 
sucked too bad that's at why she fell stitching yeah um and so <laughs> she knows a lot of medical shit so that'll come into play later as well um and we cut to miss jackie is coming back to the house mm-hmm. she walks in she um notices that miss fucking jules was in here and was like stitching herself up and everything because she finds all the bandages and wrappers and stuff from the first aid kit there's blood everywhere and it makes you think right before that that they're in the house together uh, yeah. because it seems as if you know movie magic it seems as if jackie pulled up right as jules was screaming mm-hmm. as she put her finger back into place and then you hear that door close in the house mm-hmm. and it makes it seem like she's up there with jackie yeah but then I guess that was maybe the door to the outside closing mm-hmm. is because probably what it was. Jules is outside and she's yep. trying to get away in the boat. Yup. Mm-hmm. She's trying to swim all the way back to Sarah's place. And so she ends up getting in there. Jackie sees that she's trying to escape on the boat. And so she goes and takes this other little boat and is literally just like right behind her. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because she did obviously if Jules didn't know that she could barely get over when she was like fully healthy healthy now she's got a dislocated but now put back into place shoulder yeah probably broken i mean she's got a huge gash in her internal arm too, injuries yeah, yeah bleeding maybe and with i mean we're talking about how you need core strength she's got a giant stomach wound yeah that she's just stitched but up. but you like, know maybe it's the shock at this point because she is powering through it yeah she really is and she's trying to get to the side and this is kind of a little bit for me of like a drawn out scene but they're you know kind was. of going back and forth of like you, you know get away from me why would you do this i'm yeah. coming for you i'm, I'm gonna get you and then you I'm know you. literally i'm gonna get you 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 and she really Run pretty way. much does she yep. she Catches all the way up and she jumps inside she's of her like boat. A fucking Olympic rower. Oh, and course. she was shooting at her actually yeah, as well. Yeah, she was shooting that's at funny. her at first. Yeah, that's she wild. Was like How right did she on miss? The open water. Yeah, which I was like, ugh. And then, yeah, then she gets in the boat, follows her, and then as soon as she gets into, I was like, she should have been screaming this whole time mm-hmm. because then maybe like Daniel was outside. We later find out. Mm-hmm. I feel like Daniel maybe would have heard mm-hmm. and done something. Something definitely is not all right. I would have been like screaming bloody murder. But maybe at that point she would have shot Daniel in that moment. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Who knows? Because but it's not our Sarah movie and it didn't help. go that way. Yeah. So we do have them, like you said, you know, there's this whole skerfuffle with them in the same boat. And Daniel is on the dock and he's having himself a little drinky teeny. And he's like, hey, y'all good? Yeah, because they're like screaming at yeah. each other. And he, obviously it looks weird. And she's like, if you say anything, I'll kill them both or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Because she's also holding her at knife point as mm-hmm. well. And then he was like, okay, well, I guess I'll see y'all tomorrow for dinner. And then she was, J- Jackie's like, uh, tomorrow's actually not going to work. Mm-hmm. And then, hell yeah, Jules. She goes, tonight. Like they, he, he says tonight, tomorrow's not good. And then she says tonight is. Yeah. And I was like, hell yeah. And then they were like 8 p.m. Okay. It's a date. Yeah. A double date. And I was like. A murder. A murder. And so at this point too, Miss Jackie's like, fuck him, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what did I say? Literally. And so, and, and then poor Jules is just the, even the look she gives her right now is just just complete terror mm-hmm. and just like oh shit what, what did I do is wrong with you yeah, yeah. and also because it's I feel it's like realization of oh shit what I just do but also like I mean she's like she's very much cornered and so yeah. she's just doing anything to try to survive um and so that's whenever we do get to find out because Miss uh what's her name jackie is bathing jewels that this is all for fucking life insurance yeah she was like you were supposed to fall you die i I'm get the pain. money i get the money yeah and she I and jewels like, poor Jules. she's like did you even love me and she's like nope, nope. she doesn't even hesitate i was like <laughs> oh damn okay <laughs> and then that's whenever jules is like i'm gonna tell so many people i am gonna scream whenever they get here i am going to and then fucking jackie oh man she just starts like dunks her head in the water yeah, holding her pure under, torture like, this is pretty crazy this movie like kind of for me at this point was like it's really going there yeah i was like ooh, intrigued but also like appalled yeah you know it was good yeah i, I, I liked it mm-hmm. and, and so i got you know you feel both you feel so bad for jules because mm-hmm. she can't fight back really at all right now yeah, i mean she's really and, injured and she definitely just has the low like, dunking her in the water underhand. And like that's not fun. No, no, it gives me swirly vibes. Yeah. Um, and so she lets her come back up, and is basically just like, 
you know, if you don't comply, you're this you're gonna get more of this. And you're gonna and then I'm gonna put their life in danger. Yeah, Yeah, exactly. She says the moment you scream or say anything, she says I will stab Sarah in her like whatever very scream here and then yeah, gut her basically Mm -hmm. from sternum down to her waist. Bowels. Yep. And make everything come out if Jules tries to make a scene. (sighs) Jules is trying to and then we flash to them in front of the fire and Jules yeah. is trying to reason with her and I was like girl this is clearly <laughs> there's no not reasoning work. no not, not at all girl. um and she's like saying you're sick but I can get you help and I and then like and even Jackie is just like and like is on her knee and I was like girl get away from that bitch and Jackie's like touch just her. stop I know what you're trying to do yeah. and you can't change my mind you're dying and then she she's was like, like we can get out of here we can like just basically forget yeah. this ever happened before they get here like we can just hide this mm-hmm. and then she was like did i ever tell you about my first wife add it Erica. to the list add it to the list got married when i was 19 guess this slipped my mind until now and it's like you bitch so it's like okay clearly she's done this before um, yeah it's uh just another slap in the face to jules because then she's just like great all right yeah i'm really fucked and then she explains that she went swimming after having a few too many. And then she says, I mourned her right at her funeral. Mm-hmm. And then I grieved with her mother. Yeah. I grieved like with her family. And she said, and I'll do the same at yours. I'll just say like, nope, bitch, it's happening. Yeah. You're going to die. Jules Jackie her, is kind of savage. Yeah. Jules ask, asks her how, how much was she worth? And she says she was priceless. And then at that point, well, I was like, was this That's a insulting. mistake? That's insulting. Yeah. Yeah. Because I was like, that makes it seem like she you actually did care about this person and you don't care about me yeah yeah and then then maybe at this point too she's like this is more trouble than i bargained for because yeah. the other ones had to just probably like die like that well as we did find super out super easy the one before this one mm-hmm. yeah um but senior sarah and daniel are over yep and clearly sarah doesn't like her because <laughs> as they're getting over he was like just you know it'll be fine like just get like let it just one dinner just be chill yeah basically we're gonna get through it and then you know, kind of immediately, Sarah is left alone with Jules. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, but then also. I was like, why as her being like the why would she let her go out of her sight and be alone with one of them? Yeah, I don't that know. made no sense. to it me. Didn't. She was begging for it. I honestly. think she wanted, she wanted to, to murder everybody. Yeah. Literally. And she just needed that one little reason. She needed it. And yeah. so, yeah, we do have her with Daniel talking and um, he's he and her are kind of cutting the shit. They're getting along pretty great. Mm. And he's even like, you know what? <laughs> My wife, Sarah. Oh, I shouldn't even say it. And then she's like, say it. And she's like, he's like, no. And she's like, she thinks I'm a psychopath. And yeah. he's like, <laughs> Yes. yes. <laughs> and so um, we do have her and him still kind of talking and she's like, hold up and like just pauses him and then like goes to watch as Jules is now like whispering something into Miss Sarah's ear. Yeah. And they both look horrified as she's watching them. And, and she's mm-hmm. there's also sorry, before we get too far past it, mm-hmm. the dinner scene when they're at oh, the yeah. table all oh, together. Yeah. I thought that scene was really good. And that's oh, the you're part right. that yes. made me question everything. Two. When they're talking, because she's asking her, like, how did how you know, know she was the, one? was the one? Yeah. And she says, love mm. happened slowly for me and then a lot all at once. And then she ends it with, even though you can never really know what's going in, on inside their head, you take a leap anyways and hope for the best and just pray that you don't get the worst. And at this point, she's like crying, too. Yeah. And everyone's kind of like awkward weird and then she's like well of course when megan i got the best yeah. and then daniel's like, like ah, <laughs> that's a good one yeah yeah and that was a really i thought that was a good scene though and i thought yeah. her little monologue jules is right there was really good and her acting throughout it like mm-hmm. they're crying and stuff going she definitely she's showed a, a great full range emotor. of emotion yeah. yeah it was good but yeah they're outside and i was at this point i was like well daniel's dead because yeah. the moment I saw both of their horrified looks, I was like... And then Sarah, of course, is like, Daniel, get away from her. And yep. she's like, what? I can't hear you. What? And she's like, Daniel. And immediately his neck gets sliced. Yep. Yes. And blood. Like a filet. And blood comes out, our favorite color, red. Yes. And um, that's whenever we do have this whole little chase ensuing with Miss 
Jackie coming through the like what are those type of doors? Double doors. Double doors, French, French doors. French doors, yeah. Yeah. And um she starts chasing um Sarah, Sarah up the stairs. Up the stairs. Yep. Yeah. And that um, was a that was a pretty cool chase scene too. Yeah, I liked it. Like the way that it was shot. Mm-hmm. I liked it. She she does get her at the in the hallway towards the end of it and uh poor Miss Sarah kind of um I mean, uh Jackie kept her promise. Yeah. She gutted her. She did. And she, she did stabbed exactly what her she said. so many times. She really went over. Board. I feel like that was a lot of like resentment maybe oh, yeah. and like a lot of pent ups. She, she did say, didn't she say, I've always wanted to kill Sierra or something like that. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I feel like she, or you know what? She said this to Miss, um, to Sarah. She said Jenny had more Jenny of a fight. Jenny fought harder. That's yeah, right. That's yeah. what she said. And so we have confirmation, confirmation. that she yeah. did actually in fact kill Jenny. Mm-hmm. Um, And then after she has that bloodbath basically Mm -hmm. she goes back downstairs and it's like well fuck jules now your one chance of getting help is gone Mm -hmm. um and then she like holds her fingers up to jules makes jewel feel her own pulse and she's like do you feel that your heart's racing and then she holds it to hers and she was like mine's steady and I was like, Ugh, you That's just killed weird. two people and your heart rate is so crazy. even kill. Yeah. I walk up the stairs at all and my heart rate is through my the roof. My <laughs> heart rate at all times throughout the day is just up and down. Like yep. it is just, I can't even control it. I don't know if it's good actually. It's not. Mine's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, and so we do have a Miss Jackie being a savage as always um, doing that. And then she's talking to Jules basically. Mm. Um, uh, chopping up Sarah and Daniel in front of her. Yeah, she's and like, Do you she's know like, this is your fault. Deep the lake is mm-hmm. because I looked it up when I was basically trying to decide whether or not to drown you. Mm-hmm. And she was like, it's three hundred and fifty feet. And she's yeah, just hacking Sarah. Yeah, and them apart. Well, it's pretty gross. Yeah, I wonder if she actually did make her I chop don't up Daniel. Think she did. Yeah, because she knows how to do it. And yeah, I feel, and like I don't think she could physically do it. No, yeah, yeah. It takes I was a lot wondering. of strength. To chop up a body. And with also her injuries. Yeah. I was like, I hope she didn't really make her actually do that. And she she does row out to the middle of the lake and they, they sink these bodies. Yep. Mm-hmm. Fish mm-hmm. food. Chum. Very much so. Um, Shout out RIP to Mr. Daniel chum and bucket. Miss Sarah. Oh. oh, and the chum bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. That's true. They're perfect. They're perfect for the recipe. That's right. For the food. <laughs> oh, that food from the chum bucket. It always looked like just mush. <laughs> yep. Um, and this so is exactly what it was. We're back in the house and poor Jules just like, just getting the really big shit end of the stick. She's Having to clean up the mess. Literally. Which I was like. What? Jackie's making her clean. And then she says, I didn't kill them. You did. Mm-hmm. And it was like damn bitch and then she's like yelling at her and like about how she's scrubbing and not blotting and i was like if you want something done right bitch like you gotta gotta do do it yourself yourself. right she could try to sabotage you especially as i'm sure this is not your first murder and not your first cleanup yeah and so that's whenever jules does bring up her dad situation and she's like did he do something to Mm -hmm. you and she's like like you said earlier, no, bitch. He did not. They raised me fine. Nature. Uh, yeah, nature. exactly. And she just says, she said, like, it's survival to fit or something like that. And I'm stronger than you or something like mm-hmm. that. Like, very just like, uh, what's the word? Not egoistic, but just like alpha. I am yeah. the, you know, you know. I'm just better than you. Literally. Yeah. Very much so. And then it goes into this whole. She kind of reminded me, if anything, like Allison Williams' character. Is that her last name? Allison from um, Get Out. Okay. A, th- a lot of times in this movie, I was getting Get Out. Mm. Like ending, at, like the ending of her in Get Out. Mm-hmm. The way she was acting like Allison as she was Williams, eating yes. the Cheerios mm-hmm. just by themselves oh, yeah. or whatever it was. I feel that. Yeah. She gave that part of her. So maybe I, that's why I felt that. I even felt that, I mean, she did a great job of fooling us the whole movie. Allison Williams did. Yeah. This girl did not. I mean, she was like obviously creepy. The moment we got there. She was never also, I feel like, trying to hide it at this point. No, I don't think she was. No. Yeah. Um, And then, so then we get, basically we fade to black and then we are in this scene of her. Like a montage-ish. Yeah. Playing, Mm -hmm. of Jackie playing the piano. And this is one of the ones where I was like, it was like a either it was Compose. moonlight sonata mixed with like a one of the piano concertos and like c major or mm-hmm. minor or something mm-hmm. by um but it was a very notable like i recognized it when i heard it um and 
she, it, it was a little weird for me. Yeah. Because it was very, yeah, it was a monologue. She says, like, I'm free in all the ways you're not. You're trapped. <laughs> oh, my God. My notes are so wrong. It's <laughs> There's a lot of typos over there. It says you're trapped by Rotini. <laughs> Rotini. <laughs> right down, way not down Rotini. My guilt. I don't even know what it was supposed Leave to be. Leave the Rotini out of this. <laughs> You're trapped by a pasta. What did the pasta do to you? <laughs> um, you're trapped by something. Weighed down by guilt. Um, <laughs> not Rotini. Yeah. She definitely didn't say Rotini in that. But anyways, she we've got the luminol and stuff, like this black mm-hmm. light scene and her playing. And then we're flashing between Jules screaming on the bed and then Jackie actually cleaning mm-hmm. up with the luminol to see, like, make sure she actually does get all the blood. Yeah. Um, and then we wake up. We wake up. Um, and then we have um, Jules um, is trying, basically getting over Miss Jackie's body and yeah, escaping she the bed. She, she got up before her, got up at the ties that yeah. were, had her tied to the bed. Which at that point, I was like, bitch, why are you going over her? Just yeah, get out of there. It made no sense to me. Just get out of there. At all times, Jules did not make wise decisions no. to me. She was smart, but also dumb. Yep. Real dumb. Two things can exist at the same time. Yes. They really can. And so Jackie um <laughs> is at this point um almost out and making it right. Well, yeah, she is holding the knife up above her. She's oh, going to right. stab her. She's she calls over her. her. And then as she plunges the knife in, we, we figure wake out that up. it's a dream. It's yeah. a dream. Jules was just dreaming. She never actually got out of She's the ties. Um, and then that's when we flash Jackie's trying to feed her breakfast. Yeah. She mm-hmm. says, eat up. We got to make sure you have a stool, full stomach in case of an autopsy. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I can't really have you fall off a cliff now with stitches in your stomach. Which is just so crazy because this bitch is thinking about everything. Yeah. This is but I was not like, her how, first rodeo. She's got stitches in her stomachs. How are you planning on framing this as an accident? Yeah. Now? And because even if you were to take, have multiple because, n- previous injuries. Yeah. Because she's saying too, like, I've got the pliers here to take out your stitches. And so it's just like. Okay. They're going to see. That, that there, were there were stitches. Stitches. Yeah. Even yeah. if they were taken out. Yeah. The, it's crazy. I mean, <clears throat> as we learned from the autopsy of Jane Doe, they can tell many things from just s- mm-hmm. from like a little scar. Yeah. Like what things are. That's this has wild. been here for mm-hmm. a long time. This is three days, two days. Yeah. Three weeks. Yeah. She's been dead for approximately this time. Like mm-hmm. they're going to be able to tell that these were prior it's injuries. Riga Morris. And rather that they had occurred too prior to death. Yeah. As well. Like mm-hmm. because of the way that I'm sure the blood settled from moving, the fact that her shoulder was put back into place, like they would be able to tell all of that. I'm sure. Pretty smart. I want to go work in a morgue now. No, I don't. Um, And so the, the uh, formaldehyde smell makes me want to throw up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is that the same smell that is like when you're dissecting animals, a frog and stuff? Yes. Ah, I hated that. Got smell. it. It would yeah, make it's me not, so nauseous. I don't like it either. And I then had if, to go in the hallway. if it got on your skin, or it, it was like it was impossible to wash off. Yeah. It took a lot of washes to get off. It, you could it still felt smell like it. it stuck to your clothes too. Yeah. I, uh, I'm sorry. Let's not smell. talk about it anymore. Um. Okay. Um. And that's whenever we do have um them. Jules is just looking at her finger and she's just kind of like, "Wow, this is really fucked up." Yeah. And that's whenever Jackie's like, "Don't worry, it's almost over." And she is then she's like, "Sit tight." Mm-hmm. And as Jules is just kind of looking around, she looks up and she sees the bear's head yeah. from the story that Miss Jackie was telling her about. And she sees behind it that there's tucked away this little box and she pulls it out and it's like all the other necklaces yeah. from all the other women that, or who collection. knows, there could have been men in there too. Yeah. Of who she's killed. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. All the lockets that she's ever given out. Mm-hmm. Um, and she gets caught like red handed by jackie she yeah. comes back in and then she's like oh, drops the box and i was Literally. like girl why were you not being like at all more careful no nope. more aware of your surroundings or right did now. something with them because that could you could use that as proof or something later i don't know yeah um and so that's whenever um jules um oh it takes miss jackie and they're in the car and mm-hmm. they're driving because she's gonna go take her to the cliff to go kill her yep. um and so and jules is just talking a lot she's talking You're the whole time desperate to feel she's, something anything mm-hmm and then we see that she's hiding something. She does. And it is a little dart, like little trinklers or dart. Beep. Because she then is just like, yeah, we will see her. I will see. She says something. She tells her to stop talking. And I think she says, and like, you're just wasting your words, basically. And then she's like, yeah, yeah, I am. 
And like the words like, aren't going to slow the fall down yeah. is what it's, she says. And then she just stabs her in the neck. Yep. With and the tranquilizer. That's whenever she does. And uh, she, the, you know, they get out. She's able to get out of the car um, and she starts running and it's a whole chase scene. And, and I was like, girl, up, don't run too far. Like that tranquilizer has <laughs> got to come into effect at some point. Like don't get too far from the car, get lost. That's true, but then also she ends up running to the same fucking cliff where she got pushed off. Yep, and I was like, oh, I was like, why would you go there? Back at the original scene of the crime, I'm yep. sure she didn't know that's where she was going. Maybe. Um, but and then it almost for one second as she's backed up with her back against it, I was like, girl, I would not try your luck at that fall again. I, would, I yeah. don't think Mm-mm. I don't think you're gonna make it. Um, and she was backing up really close to the edge. Yeah. I felt like she was contemplating just and stepping off. Really? Yeah. No, at this point, I just thought, like, man, she really put, she did it to herself again. Mm-hmm. Like, she's in the same spot. Why would you run there? If anything, if you saw where you, the if cliff I is saw right that, there. I would have ran, turned that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, taking a left. Turn, left or right. Like, yeah. don't just keep going straight, straight towards the end of it. And that's whenever Miss Jackie comes up and she's like, yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to get you. And she's like <laughs> trying to, you know, walk towards her. And then she's got this big old knife and then she just falls to the ground. Yep. Cause obviously the trinkle are kicked in all the way. And then she walks up to her remarkably, like remarkably so fast. I was like, get oh, wait, a- what do you mean? Well, like she approaches Jules. Oh body. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, why, why are you getting close to her? Mm-hmm. What if she's faking this to get you close to her? And she's yeah. not actually like out. And, but then thankfully she was. And then she picks up that knife, like you said. And at this point, I'm thinking, like, just fucking kill her. Just mm-hmm. stab her. Do something. And say Dr- self-defense. You clearly s- have a lot of wounds. Drag her body. Throw it over the cliff. Do something. Yeah. And, like, she, she just Or tries. just get the fuck out of Dodge. And you know what? She does. Because she, does. she ends up driving. She gets in that Jeep and she takes off and she's, we get this really nice, not nice scene, but you know, this shot of her just shot. crying as she's driving away, yeah. obviously. And we even see that there's another car that drove on past the road. her. Yeah. And she's like crying and you're getting the shot through the windshield, which I thought was good. Mm-hmm. I liked that. Yeah. Cause then it kind of like, there's a glare. Yeah. You can't really see Jules's face too yeah. much at one point as she was driving because she hesitated I'm, by her body. And, and I think that's also like making it, they're trying to be ominous because you're also thinking like, wait, does she have, what's her name's body in there with her? Yes. Like I was like, please on? tell me she left her body at the cliff yeah. because I, I, I thought maybe too. she was, I was like, like, fuck, she took her. her. Yeah. She took her. And I, I can like, fix her dumb bitch. or like, she's going to like try to take her to jail. Yeah. Or, like she, but yeah, no, but thankfully so, and she at, didn't. And at this point you would think maybe the movie's over. Yep. I wish it would have ended there. This is in Caitlin's mind where the movie ends. Yes. At and this point, give your booze. At this point, I would give this movie a solid hmm, 3.75, maybe a 4. Like, it was good. I mm-hmm. liked it. I thought it had a lot of great moments, lots of good. The acting was great. There were a few too many little shots that, mm-hmm. like I said. But again, it didn't really take away from the movie. Um, and then overall, I mean, I thought the storyline was good and it, like, that would have been about an hour, 25 minutes or something like yeah. sweet spot, like mm-hmm. really well paced. Yeah. Um, and very like believable, like that, you know, this is a situation someone mm-hmm. could be in and like, wow, thank God Jules escaped. Hope she goes find some help from the police. But what does she else. do? She this does bitch it. Turns it's, around. We, because we get a little flashback. Yes. Because she sees a fucking crow mm-hmm. in the windshield. And I was like, yeah, at that. And even at that point. Even with the crow flying across and the car, like I would have been like, okay, fine. Like, you know, that's a symbol. Like the crow's there. It's mm-hmm. the s- smartest bird in the world. And it made it. It made it. Yeah. End. <laughs> Literally. I get, I get what you mean. That mm-hmm. would have been great. But then, yes, we get that flashback. And uh, it's to the same conversation, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, we're getting the crow calling yet again. Mm-hmm. And she's like stopped there on the side of the road. Yeah. And it was like, I also don't think I really needed the this scene to replay there. Hmm. It, I'm going to remember someone sitting there going, car, car. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not, and, not going to forget that scene. And we and the crow was there. So it was yeah. like, you know, we can put uh, the dots together. But she ends up turning around. Yes. And she's going back. And at this and point, I'm thinking like, what the fuck? I'm like, you're going, you're, why would you be going back? My notes for like five to six bullet points are, you dumb bitch. 
what the fuck are you, you thinking? Why dumb. the fuck? Just you not are a so great decision. Dumb. Why? Just does not really uh, feel like it would pan well for you to go back to a situation that was very dangerous for your life. And then I was like, you are so stupid. I can't literally hating this movie more now because of you right but that's now. That's actually an analogy. I just thought about it. Cause that's actually beautiful. Don't we all do that? What? We just keep putting ourselves in dangerous situations that we know we shouldn't be in that we've been in before. Is that, is that beautiful? A little bit. Or sad. Well, <laughs> sad, tragic. Self-sabotage. Self-sabotage. And it's just kind of like, this is the super extreme of it, you know? The full circle this, of life. But this is just like, you know, the extreme of like what ugly could lead to between like, you know, she's literally like her spouse is trying to kill her. Yeah. It's very... Mr. and Miss Smith, but without the beautiful without the people fun. of Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Yeah. Yeah. And the fun, witty commentary between the two of them. Um, And so that's whenever Banter, <laughs> she goes back. And at this point, I'm also thinking like she's going back to the cabin. um, And I'm just like, because <sighs> she hasn't gone back to the body, right? No. Yeah. Uh... She did. She did. My bad. She goes back to go yes. find, to look, go look at her body like over the cliff. And that's when she realizes that she's not there anymore. Yep. So I'm just like, fuck. Wait. Ugh, I'm, she, yeah. I'm sorry. That is. Not over the cliff, but at the cliff. At the cliff. Yes. Yeah. She realizes yes. she's not where she was mm-hmm. passed out. Yes. Just, there we I'm go. assuming only like an hour or so, maybe before. I can it doesn't feel like that much time. I feel like maybe passed. 30 minutes. And, so, and I don't think she should be up from this tranquilizer yet. But, but she's, Psycho. Yes. And so that's whenever. <laughs> Makes you. Uh, <laughs> superpowers. <laughs> yeah. She's a villain. And so that's whenever she goes to the cabin. And at this point, I'm thinking, like, why would you go back? Like, I would at that point got in the car and then just left. I don't even I know. I would have been like, okay, don't need to know. She, yeah. Because at this point, you're going back to the cabin. She could have had a sniper, another gun or something. And been she's watching just, you. And she's just, all she had is that knife. Yeah. And so she ends up going into the house. And clearly, she, like, Jackie is a trained killer. Mm-hmm. That you're not going to stand a chance. Yeah, no, not at all. She's obviously done this a lot of other times before. Yeah. And who's to say that you're the not the first the one that even stood up? What if someone even else put up a bigger fight than you? Yeah. Obviously, Jenny did. Jen, yeah, Jenny. Jenny sure did. Jenny fought back, and she still died. And she was eight. And she was fucking eight. <laughs> um, and so that's whenever... Um, she starts she's, setting up speakers. She's setting up speakers. I was like, what the fuck are we doing now? Are we having so, a dance that's party? That's what I thought. What I was like, fuck? what? And she sets these big old speakers and just starts blaring this rock music. Mm-hmm. And at that point, I'm like, oh, okay. Like, so she's, what? It's an open invitation. She's yeah. letting her know exactly where she mm-hmm. is. And, um, yeah. And at this Jackie, point, too, I think she, she did. Did she grab a gun at that point? She had grabbed a gun by that point. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she is then just she's like standing in the window with this music's playing mm-hmm. yeah. and just kind of like, you know, like you said, making it known that she's there. It's an invitation. And so we do see that Jackie hears the music um, and she does end up coming to the house. Yep. And it's nighttime. And by the time she does end up coming to the house, the music's not even playing anymore. But I know. OK. I was like. Okay, I guess the song ended. Yeah. They only had rights for that one song. <laughs> and um, so, <laughs> um, and then we get a very POV shot or steady cam of like just like her going into the house and searching for jewels. Yep. And this, yeah. This and is I like the way first... it's like looking and then like it turns around and it's back on her. And it's on her. Yeah. Yeah. That was, it was a cool shot. Mm-hmm. And that's what like, so all of these different shots were all cool in their own right. Mm-hmm. I just think that maybe there's too many different kinds. It's like um, when but someone that was a does, really good shot. well, I feel you. It's like a PowerPoint when you're doing a PowerPoint. It's like, like putting every single kind of transition. It's in. like at every single moment, they're all different. Like, no, <laughs> you pick a good starter and a good ending one. And then you pick a good like one that you use for all the main Subtle. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Not giving a pixelated like into a cube burst. into yeah. like a fan horizontal into like a horizontal coming across. Swish, swash, yeah. Zigzag. <laughs> yeah. Um, Star. So I, I get what you mean. Yeah. And so um, we do have her looking around and then that's whenever I think Jules comes up from behind and puts the gun to her head. Mm-hmm. And, and I was like, watch that be a toy gun. <laughs> I, I was like, what if this is like so Fake. old just yeah. decoration? Yeah. And so she ends up 
putting, she tells Jackie to get on her knees and she's like, I'm not fucking kidding. It's her playing with you. And so she tells her to get on her knees. She bops her on the back of her head. And then that's whenever Jackie starts telling her about the gun. Like, if you try to kill me with that, you're probably just going to hurt yourself. Like, Mm -hmm. it'll release shrapnel all over your face because it's so old. It's an antique. antique. And then Jackie's like, hasn't been fired in 50 years. And then I love how Jules is just like, is that true? Yeah. (laughs) And I was like, it's like so dumb. And Jackie just gets up and she's just like, just just put it down. You know, you're not a killer. Mm -hmm. And Jules just sucks ass because she literally as uh, she fires it but Jackie's fires already it, got the but barrel. Jackie had already got the barrel by that point. Yeah. Like uh, it just makes no it, maybe sense. she was startled and that was why her finger pulled the trigger then. But then yeah, she misses her like three times. Yeah. Um basically she tries to shoot two additional times after that mm-hmm. and misses. And then she goes upstairs and the attic is open. And so I was like and obviously a ploy because yes. then Jules goes to try to look for her up there and, and then like, Jackie no. comes out. Yep. And they are supposed to see have another scarf ruffle. I said, girl, are you some special type of stupid? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why because, would like, you why would you? There? And only half your body. And, like, it just made no sense. No. No. What you do is you close the damn thing and because say, obviously she's stuck up there then. Ha bitch. Yeah. yeah. You have to come down at some point or I'll shoot you. Yeah. Otherwise, she's going to have to, like, jump out the building and hurt herself. Exactly. Like, so, you I know. Wanna, yeah. Never. Don't go. So, no. sh- yeah. So then. Y'all, if you're ever thinking of going into the attic, don't. Just don't. And if you think someone's up there, just literally just lock the bitch because they're stuck up there. Mm-hmm. And the, there's probably a snake. It'll get them. Probably a snake and a scorpion. And mm-hmm. it's probably Bagul. Yes. I know. Whenever the attic was open, I was like, plot twist. She's doing all of this for Bagul. It's all for Bagul. That's what I thought. But then I was like, I'm not going to bring Bagul into this one, too. Because I did that in another film. I'm trying to overcome my fear of Bagul. So now I watching, have to love Bagul. Do you open up a picture of I should. Make I should put him as a screensaver. <laughs> but I need to overcome my fear and make Bagul my friend. Okay. So now we just can openly talk about Bagul. Okay. Bagul is cool. Bagul is cool. Bagul is cool. <gasps> that, that's a cute shirt. Oh, idea. Yeah, sure. Let's wear it. Bagul is cool. Bagul is cool. And so. I love it. <laughs> it's my drag name. <laughs> <laughs> so many. Oh, my gosh. No, we gave uh, te- Tex- Texas. Tex, we gave him a drag name. Oh, well, yes. I gave it to him. What is it? It's okay. It's Texas, Delaware. I love it. Texas, Delaware, right? Okay. But like there's a third state as like the end, but it changes upon like, you know, if they like if he's a good boy, it's like Texas, Delaware, Montana. Montana is exactly what I was thinking. To, is Delaware look, like look a, a little Texas, Delaware, Montana. Montana? Where's Delaware? Uh, Delaware is, is a state? state. Yeah. A little <laughs> okay. Texas, Delaware yeah, I was state. Like, is that the cab? And but then, I was thinking but, Montana. Our and brains. if he's bad, he's like, Ugh, Texas, Delaware, Florida. Florida. Like, and then like if he's feeling a little saucy, it'd be like Texas, Texas, Delaware, Idaho. Maine. Oh, we're Maine. Yeah. Texas, sassy Delaware, Maine. Crab. Yes. And then Leonard got Renee Crystal. I like cause that. Because she's sassy. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. And it sounds like a little stripper. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, and she got a big head. With her big head and wrinkles. Mm-hmm. So cute. So cute. cute. These are dogs, by the way. Leonard's gave a girl. dog drag names. Leonard is a boy. Okay. <laughs> Did I say girl? My bad. Yeah. But then I was like... But she... Like, oh, no. Did I have Leonard's we name We are just also just the giving them pronouns. They, them. They, them. They, them. I was like, oh, I feel so bad. I always was like, hello, little boy oh, to Leonard. Leonard and then is I was a like, boy, oh, yes. no. He does have, he, uh, as far as I know, identifies as male. Yes. Um, but we might just also identify him, identify him as male because he has a little penis. Yes, he does. In a little ball sack that has no balls in it because he's whatever that's called. And snip, snip. Yeah, it's just a little, little sack. Little skin. Yeah. Aww. He's so cute, though. He is a cute Aww. boy. Okay. He's so bad, though. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> All right. So, once again, we're getting off topic. Um. So, what were we at? There's, oh, oh, the fight. The fight that yes. happens. And Which all we do, cool scene. I thought, yeah, it was really cool. We're on the first floor, and they're just like, bound. we see our point of view of like them fighting. We just hear it. We just see a lot of thuds and like the, the floor chandelier shaking. shaking and stuff. But never, and we're following them throughout the house mm-hmm. as they're fighting and kind of having this altercation. We do have one gunshot that goes off. Yeah. Um, and then finally, all throughout that noise, you get one pair of footsteps. Yep. Receding, and it was like, uh oh. And so someone's who's won. coming down the stairs? Jackie. My money's on Jackie. Yep. And who was it? Jackie. It was Jackie. It was Jackie. It's always Megan and Jackie. 
And then we flash to Jackie grunting and this like kind of shot POV of some shot, trees. Another one. Yep. And dragging, of her dragging a body. jewels. Yep. Um, and she is taking her. Where is she taking her to? Back to the cliff. And I was taking like, how are you going to gonna frame this? I don't really get it. Yeah, because I don't either. Because a lot at this point, there's literally so many injuries Other on her injuries. body. Yep. And she's very fucked up. And so she's got her on the edge of the cliff. And at this point, we do have Miss fucking Jules almost coming to. And just as soon as time. just in time, and she's like, check it out. And chance of getting, check it out. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. And then she hits like that. And that shot and was the cool. camera and like everything falling. Yeah. And we just get her face. Yeah. yeah. It felt very, that, that gave found footage. It did. And, um, which obviously, so I like found it. Found footage. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it needed. On this segment of found footage, <laughs> it did though. A bitch died. She was dumb. Oh, and, and at this point, I honestly die. was just like, Jules, you deserved that. You deserved every moment of that. Yeah. Because how did you allow yourself to get in this situation? Why did you go how back? How did you do this? And why did you hesitate in killing her? Not once, but twice, even yep. after you came back. Because yep. she, uh, and even if she thought, well, maybe this shotgun will backfire on me, like just b- bap her in the back of the head like five times with it. Yeah, Those are really hard. Yeah. Literally. And then do something. But anyways, we do have one. Once again, Miss, um, uh, what's her name? Jackie. Jackie's doing making her fake the actual 911, 911 phone call. call. Yep. Yeah. And she is pretty good at making it sound like an accident happened and yeah. she's really you know um startled and giving like the location and then all of a sudden you know like they're in the middle of nowhere you're cutting off i can't hear I, you i can't uh. it hangs up and Click. then she's just like her face immediately falls oh you know, she's like, sweet but a psycho that's what she is yes she yes is. um and then that's what she's actually not even that sweet um and she's she starts she's throwing up she's psycho. retching because yeah. she's wretched she starts retching she's retching because she's, she's wretched wretched Re- i almost said i said wrecked <laughs> wreck it ralph wreck it ralph um oh. but she's throwing up and it's like okay and this was where i was like okay this is insulin issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was yeah. like, she's, this is something because of yeah. that. Mm-hmm. And then, which as we knew it was going to come up. Yep. As she finds the insulin, I was like, I hope she switched her insulin into yep. something else. And, and so then, she starts, she puts it into herself. Uh, oh, and we, yeah, because we also do get the little flashback as well at the same time of like them, you know, uh, Miss, what's her face? Julie. Jules was injecting her with her insulin for her and um, she's putting it inside of her. And then at the same time, we do have, Jackie injecting herself with it. And so, but then. And that's where we get the little comment about mm -hmm. the nurse. About all that happening. She's like, why aren't you a doctor by now or something like Mm -hmm. that, right? She's like, don't ask me about it or something. Yeah. Um, And she's like, you should really pay more attention to what you put in your body. Yeah. Something like that. And then that's when we pop to a video. That's on the laptop and it was filmed by Jules before she died. Yeah. And she's like, if you're watching this, I I died. did. So stupid. Um, but yeah, and she's like, you know what? Um, you, I wish I could see the look on your face because guess what? Your medicine, I switched it for hydrogen peroxide. Yep. And once it is injected into your bloodstream, it travels through that bloodstream and it creates clots and those clots get to your brain. And guess what happens? You have a stroke. A stroke. St- 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 yep. Yeah. And then um, we get the scene of Jackie throwing the, gl- the insulin tube basically once after she smells it the little mm-hmm. container against the wall it's shattering and then she's just running through the woods yeah faces another black bear yeah and i was like the fuck and then we see this little girl into her so yeah. it's young megan yeah now we're back with little megan and then she symbolically pulls the trigger on herself mm-hmm. because megan That's pulls what she the did. trigger adult jackie like falls forward starts having a stroke and dies in the forest and then seems like a pretty painful death yeah Yeah. and then we flash back to jackie or to jules yeah over there and we like see that oh that opening scene that we saw of the woods in the Mm -hmm. like if you're laying on the ground the ground not aerial shot yes was what julie jules saw when she fell yeah and then how does it end at the very end, just when it's about to fade to black, we do get a. <gasps> yeah. Literally, not not even like a. <gasps> it's like a. 
Yep. Yeah. Like and she so she may have bedroom. just woke up. And, you know, honestly, at this point, Somehow we do alive. have it bad enough that she went back. And at this point, I'm like, okay, you know what? She went back. Mm-hmm. I can't do anything. She went back. That's her decision. Yes. I don't support it, but she did it. And I still love her. But the thing is that she got killed. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're going to go back, please, like, don't get killed. But yeah. she got killed. And then at that point, she had this awesome, like, backup plan of, like, well, if I'm going to get killed, I'm taking you out taking, with me. Yeah, you down too. Which she did. But, like, in the end, even if she does come back, like, I'm thinking of just, like, there's, uh, there, she's got to be really fucked up. Yeah. That's a whole lot of trauma. Mm-hmm. That's a whole lot of, like, I ex- would just want to be cops. at that point. Because uh, this could look like you did something. Yeah. Honestly, maybe. You know? You never know. And, like, it's just a lot. And I also well, thought it would have been. There's also video evidence that she killed it's her yeah yeah without even explaining like oh i'm doing this also because like i'm getting back at you for what you did to me yeah. and this is the same thing who knows maybe there was a separate file but i don't know and it's just kind of like it just sucks that she that, that she there's a thing of her coming back because i thought it was a beautiful cap and if they both would have died and then like it ended on that shot where we opened and like that's it mm-hmm. um but it didn't um but throughout the whole movie honestly i thought i i was i wasn't i was um entertained the whole yeah. time mm-hmm. yeah like uh, especially because it, you know you get into it pretty quickly and mm-hmm. the twist of like her then like you know and then it becomes a very kind of cat mouse situation yeah um which is always pretty good mm-hmm. and um there were some really cool stylistic shots the music was pretty good yeah um i really actually enjoyed the scene i think my favorite scene in this whole movie um is whenever they are with sarah and daniel and jules is telling sarah about it and they're like the like the face acting mm-hmm. like there's no words yeah and then you but you know and then she's just like daniel get away from her yeah and then just <laughs> slit like because she that was good she just walks over there like so just like not yep, face like do. just like boom another day on the job another one and just and it's it's honestly really badass. Yeah. Um. And so, um, I thought the characters were really good. I thought the actresses did really well throughout the whole film. Um. And it really is. I mean, it does make you think and makes you start to kind of question. Like, it's one of those movies that it's almost so real life that you can actually kind of fit this into who you know. And then, yeah. and then not that get not paranoid. that not that it's that <laughs> not that being paranoid and being anxious is good, but like that like the movie ha- ha- can have that much of an effect yeah that's crazy mm-hmm. that's wild even though we do know cinema does affect like obviously what you know it's an influence but still yeah um well oh oh yeah i would rate it uh-huh. um boo rating of the three three point five all around all, all around. around all okay. around and it, it might have would have it actually would have been a four for me if Jules would have just fucking I know uh, it, I might be just like fan service or just like also like it's not real enough but if Jules would have just came back and really like bossed up and killed the fuck out of her yeah I honestly would have really been satisfied that been fun. really satisfied it made because the whole time she's the little like, mouse understand why the she underdog went back and more. the under you're always rooting for that underdog and like yeah. you were just like hoping man she's gonna get it like she's gonna get her back Boss and like bitch. she might be coming out like barely alive but she's gonna get her back yeah and, uh you know and vindicate because also and then vindicate all those other families that like no your spouses did not just your kids your whatever did not just die like this person murdered them yeah and i killed her you're welcome you're welcome (laughs) and let's get you some money back yeah i don't know literally something like that but um yeah so 3.5 for me that's fair yes and you want to go ahead and give yours y'all right scene so it would have yeah i think it probably would have gotten a four had she left mm-hmm. and or came back and yeah was like just bossed up the situation that would have made it i would have understood maybe a teeny bit more why she went back but i was like girl you were free you were free and now you're just really fucking dumb you can come yeah. back and the police like you've got all this evidence the police will like someone will find her and it just was a little bit too much for me there. Mm-hmm. Um, overall, I thought the acting, like I said, was really well done. They did a great job. Yeah. No question about that. I did like the music a lot. There were a few too many where it felt like it was trying to be like art house or elevated horror kind of thing where 
like with that ending scene and the metaphorical like pulling the shot mm -hmm. trigger and on then her like all the little like flashbacks moments like yeah. not that saying flashbacks are bad but the way they were shot were very like intimate and very like the grayscale yeah and so, then also like there's a lot of stylistic choices happening yeah and yeah. maybe having only brought it back once mm. rather than like how we talked about earlier with the crow one coming back mm -hmm. because like i obviously that was a pretty memorable scene i didn't need it to be repeated mm -hmm. for me because like i i can put two and two together yeah so it felt like a, almost a little too spelled out and not just for yeah. like the crow being the smartest bird and like you know jules being really smart this movie didn't Okay, this is about to sound really bad, but this movie didn't feel like it was for smart people. Like mm. it was maybe a little too spelled out. Okay. And I, I wanted like I wanted things to be a little bit more left up to interpretation. And then if you don't get it, that's just you're bad. I'm sorry, you're not smart enough. <laughs> but that's always your take as well. You yeah. do enjoy things to be more like sublime and that's not true. as like heavy on the hammer yeah. and or in the dark or it, it either needs to be like one or the other for mm -hmm. me. Which is I know not everyone's cup of tea. Yeah. And so like I I prefer things that are a little bit more left up to interpretation or, you know, it's you have to really understand and get a deep, maybe you need to watch it a second time mm -hmm. for that understanding to be there. Um, I don't necessarily want things to be like halfway spelled out because then there was also the issue of, you know, Jewel, like their backstories were never quite Fleshed explained. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like the whole idea with the nurse doctor thing, I wish maybe we would have gotten a little bit more of that. Like maybe use some of that scream time yeah. from screen time from the, you know, like the boat chasing. Yeah. Or yeah. that to maybe give us a little bit more understanding of the characters themselves mm -hmm. because they're good characters. Yeah, they are. And I want, I wanted to know more about them and like, this maybe, could have been a really good series. Yeah. Like a limited series oh, yeah. with like four or six episodes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that were like each an hour yeah. and a half or something. An hour. An hour. An hour. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> an hour, Caitlin. Don't but, don't get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but the, an hour and a half—that's only like nine minutes shorter than what this movie what was. What this movie yeah. was, yeah. But exactly. no, I get what you mean, though. Uh, I do like that there was a lot of um, release and rise and tension throughout the movie, though. Too. Yeah. Um, but and uh, overall, like I mean, I think there were a lot of great choices, and like we said, it had a lot of different ways it could have gone. The mm -hmm. way that it did go was still a perfectly great way to go. Um, like the fact that she's just a psycho yeah. killer is, you know, that was good. Yeah. I, I can take that. And, um, I just, I wish Jules <laughs> wouldn't have gone back. I do like that. She like used science to beat her. That was kind of fun. Yeah. She's smarter. Yeah. I mm -hmm. was like, she was That's smarter. played into the crow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that, that was cool. Um, and pretty savage in a slow, painful way to have someone yeah. die, which was in the like, way that she did. Yeah. Good revenge. It was. Um, but overall, I mean, I did. I still really enjoyed this film. I mm -hmm. did. It was just that ending scene where I was like, the "Give it a two. Ending part. It's okay. No, I, I think <laughs> I think I'll give it. I was thinking two point like seven five, but I think I still overall enjoyed the majority of the movie. Mm -hmm. Seventy five percent of this movie, I still it was really just that liked. ending for you that was just like, yeah, yeah. that I was like, no, Should've you dumb here. bitch, you are so stupid. Yeah. So I think a three. Okay. Yeah. Very polarizing review from Caitlin. Yes. <laughs> no, really loved three. most of it. But only the ending. The ending. Um, but hey, I feel like that's very, it's happened to a lot of things. Yeah. So it's kind of, uh, you know. Because I was excited. I, I kind of like, get it this too. this is a good movie. I was like thinking on my boo rating throughout. And I was mm -hmm. like, this is going to get a four. Like this is pretty good. Because there's a lot of ideas. And then I was like. Yeah. No. Um, well, <laughs> I'm taking we do I have, take it back. We do have our, our listener, Miss Sunny, her. Um. Uh, what you gonna call it? Her review. Her boo. Her boo rating. Boo rating. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sunny. <laughs> I did like it, and I'm glad that I watched this movie. Yeah, I'm a better person for it. Um, and you, I'm also scared are. of of everybody. Yes, and, and myself. Our, our our significant others, our boyfriends. Yes. Um. Uh, so she said, <laughs> um, from beginning. To, from the beginning, it's apparent that Jackie is hiding something. And mm. as the plot progresses, it makes you wonder, can you ever really know who you're married to? Which ah! I read that and I was like, oh, that's deep. That's a deep cut. I'm scared. Yeah, honestly, because you never really, I mean, I mean, you do know, but like, you know, you never really know. That's crazy. No. That's wild. They could just, I mean, a lot of the times, all the time, it's always the husband or, you know, the wife, like. Something, it's yeah, that's right. That's true. That kills someone. It's the person you're like, closest to. Ugh, that's um, so scary. 
And so she, hard to trust people. It is. It is. Um, and she did say that she loved the movie because it's very tense and she had to remind herself to breathe following the twist. Oh, yeah. Which I feel that. Mm -hmm. um, and then she did give the movie um, four boos out of five boos. Well, good. Mm -hmm. I'm, and I'm glad like that she liked it. And Jackie, or Jackie, sorry, I'm still Sunny. on the movie. Sunny, you're a smart person. I didn't mean that you're a dumb person. <laughs> <laughs> she is very smart. Yes. yes. Um, um, also, I just love that you, like, we have quite a few. She suggested a lot of cool she really did. for us. Yeah, so, about like four or five. Yeah. So we're going to try to hit all of them, to be honest, because they I all like look pretty interesting. Her um, theory on that Harry Styles is, uh, she messaged us about that. That Harry, Harry Styles, Styles is who like ha? a killer or something. Oh, he could be. And I was like, yeah, I can totally see this. And I, I, I messaged back. I was like, I need to know. And then of course I did my famous, uh, where I don't ever follow up with anything. Um, we're both bad at social media. It's okay. But, I think everybody knows at this point. Okay. I said, please, I have to know. But she just said no concrete evidence yet. Mm -hmm. Um, I had replied to her story though. Cause she was like, I just have this weird. It was, I think when Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine. Oh, it, gotcha. Spit, you know, yeah. with in quotations, he didn't actually, um, was going all around. And then she was like, I just have this theory that Harry's the bad guy. And I yeah. was like, I want to know. I, that's my theory too. Yeah. Honestly. And he kind of is because he just did beat, um, Beyonce, Beyonce at the Grammys, which yeah. is kind of like, Who's doing that? But you know what? You know what? And Art is our, he and like, he worked hard on it. People, people worked like hard on me that. People like me don't so. ever win this. And I was like, you're a white man, sir. You yeah. When he said man. that. Yeah. I think the whole internet's just like, what does that even mean? Like, yeah. come on. Like, are you, like, you're. That you dress in weird clothes. And, like, and people also, eat that shit up. Yeah. People eat that shit up. And like, honestly, it's Because not, you're a white man. And there's so many other people who have done that before and you. They and they have been scrutinized. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I, I do enjoy Harry Styles, but I didn't think that one was. Um, this is not a Grammy's podcast. As it was. Yeah. That's uh, Anyways, that's also, the only song I know. his from. prior album was better. Yeah, the one with the watermelon, right? Or well, is that Watermelon this one? Sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watermelon Sugar High. Yeah. That one. That's a good one. Golden. Is that what I think I know called? it. I don't know. Yeah, but um, cool. as always, we're in the lovely Rogue Media Network studio. We just lost so many fans. Thank you guys for <laughs> always taking care of us. If you want to listen to our podcast or any other podcast, you can always do that at RogueMediaNetwork.com. That's right. And if you, there's also a whole slew of other podcasting platforms you can listen to us on. And the biggest two are Spotify and Apple. But mm -hmm. wherever you do listen, don't forget to rate, review, ocean spray can, mango. Cran mango. Cran mango. But also rate, review, like, and subscribe. That's right. Uh, this podcast brought to you by Ocean Spray. Ocean and Spray. Because <laughs> the rate and reviewing is the only way that... Ooh, I like that. I want to fall asleep to that every night. <laughs> Can you just come whisper in my ear? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll give you brown noise. Yay. Thank you. Because <laughs> you're brown. A little bit. I'm a little tan. <laughs> I don't know if say I'm brown. That's funny. Um, um, but that is the only way we can get ahead in this world. And then if you want to let us know your listener requests so we can cover that. Yeah. You please, can reach out You can also us. reach out to us at... R1 social media, which is at Boo Bays Podcast on Instagram, and that's at B O O B A E S Podcast because we're your Boo Bays, not your Boo Babes. That's right. Mm -hmm. And then, um, yeah, the, our Hellraiser remake Hellraiser episode it's will be coming out on mm -hmm. Tuesday. T -t 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 Tuesday, and which then, we did mention this one and that one. Yep. So you're going to be hearing that. Which was confusing. But it's okay. Because time. Time. It's but, an illusion. Then yeah, we'll uh, be recording some other movie after that. Yeah, Don't we're gonna. Yet. We're. I'm we're really excited though it. because I love when we have a clean slate because we can just kind of do whatever. And whatever. we're almost to our hundred. We are episode, so, so we, we should, should probably figure something out for that. Our bi tricentennial hundredth episode. That's right. Um, but, but as always, <laughs> as always, get the fuck out. Bye, bays. Bye, bays. <laughs>
Ya comenzó la temporada más alegre en JCPenney. Con todas tus marcas favoritas para el hogar bajo un mismo techo, es muy fácil crear lindos ambientes en casa. Tenemos decoración de mesa para tus comidas en familia y los últimos modelos de Cooks, Cuisine Art y Martha Stewart para el chef de la casa. Prepara el cuarto de visita con artículos de Home Expressions, Linden Street y Liz Claiborne. Encuentra hoy todo lo que tienes en tu lista y aprovecha nuestras ofertas. JCPenney, celebraciones que valen la pena.